blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you could make it. This uh, video is part of a new series I decided to create on Krita. As you can see on your screen, Krita is a free application that will allow you to create digital art as well as animations. In this series, I will show you step by step how to use the software. However, I am not an animator and therefore this series will not include any tutorials on animation. So today let's make it short and sweet and start at the very basic level. When you open Krita, you are taken here and this is your welcome page. To open or create a new canvas, you can go right here on new file or you can do Ctrl N or you can go to the file tab and select new. A window appears with two tabs and on the side the templates. So basically you have three main areas. You have the area to enter your dimensions right here. You have the content area where you are going to name your file. And right here on the left, you have all your templates. I would like to show you this very neat option, Create from Clipboard. It allows you to create a document from an image you stored on your clipboard or from a screenshot you took. Let me demonstrate. But before I start, pay attention to the dimensions right here. 293 pixels, 386 pixels. Now let me take a quick screenshot. And here it is. It loaded in the clipboard area in the dimensions are now 1721 pixel and 1745 pixel. So what does it mean? It means that if I now hit the create button, my canvas will have exactly those dimensions. Alright, let's uh, look at the dimension tab. First, go and click on custom the document. You can uh, create uh, a canvas using predefined sizes. They are located right here. Scroll down and choose the size that you like. You can change the uh, orientation of your canvas. This is the portrait orientation and here is the landscape orientation. If you rather customize your canvas with specific criteria, you will do it in this area. You can type the dimensions of your canvas directly uh, here. So let's say 4000. If you rather use another unit of measure, you can change it in this area and just scroll down and choose what you want. So if we were to put inches, the 4000 pixel will become 13 inches. Illustrations are best painted using a resolution of 300 pixel per inches. So I would leave it uh, the way it is. If you decide to uh, use this uh, size a lot in the future, in order to uh, avoid to re-enter the same dimensions over and over as soon as you open Krita, you can save your own preset. You will name it here. So for instance, as you can see, I already wrote testing and you will hit the uh, button save. So uh, in the case that you were going back to Krita the next day or if you closed it the same day and you go back, you know, a few hours later, your new preset will appear right here at the very top. I will not worry about this area here, leave it alone. As you start, it's uh, just better to use the custom settings. You will name your 
canvas in the content tab. Try to be as descriptive as you can. As you can see in this example, I put a number and a date. A number as you may have several versions of the same idea. Do not worry about this area here, the area called layers, leave it at one. If you don't want your background to be white, just click in this area and choose a new color. You can change your color here or in this area. A light gray is a good choice, uh, at least uh, that's my preference, uh, as you can see. Finally, you can add a description to your work if you want, but uh, it's really optional. So that's it, you are done entering all your information, now you can hit the button create. The beauty of Krita is that the software can open any type of image. JPEG, PNG, and even Photoshop. So let's open a Photoshop file. Go to File, Open, and choose your picture. What I really wanted to show you is that Krita imported all the layers that I had uh, created in Photoshop. So for instance here I can turn off the egg layer or maybe the background layer. All the layers are right here. Everything that I've done. That is the beauty of Krita. So we are done for today. I hope this little first tutorial was helpful and next week uh, we'll uh, draw a picture together and also I will try to show you the different functions available in the interface. That said, I wish you a wonderful day and a wonderful week and until next time, create some great art. Bye!